Here are people that have found the Fountain of Youth. Number 8. Irene O'Shea Not only did Irene O'Shea become the oldest person ever to skydive in Southern Australia, but she did it for a good cause. When Irene celebrated her 100th birthday by jumping from an airplane that was more than 12,000 feet up in the air, she did it in order to raise money for Lou Gehrig's disease, a disease that took her daughter's life in 2008. O'Shea took the historic plunge in May of 2016, about eight years after losing her daughter to the awful disease. O'Shea said that her daughter had suffered badly, and if it hadn't been for other people's donations, she wouldn't have had it so easy. So it was only fair that she put in the work to help out other people. As a grandmother of five and great-grandmother of 11, Irene seemed to have a knack for adventure all throughout her life. She's traveled all over the world and has even been up in a glider a few times. So while she may have felt in place as she jumped out of a moving airplane, it's still pretty impressive for someone who's 100 years old. Most of us would be lucky to even be alive at that point. This lady's jumping out of a freaking airplane. Number 7. Peggy McElpine when she was a whopping 104 years old, Peggy McElpine became the world's oldest paraglider, which is actually keeping with her tradition of doing really cool things for her birthdays. For example, when she turned 80, she celebrated by going bungee jumping. She later went for a ride on a Harley Davidson to celebrate her 100th birthday. So yeah, I'd say Peggy is an adrenaline junkie. Born in 1907 in Scotland, Peggy professed to loving heights from an early age. By the 1920s, she was already flying in airplanes as part of humanity's early attempts at human flight. She later married into the wealthy McElpine family and outlived her husband Thomas by more than 30 years. She first made her way into the Guinness Book of World Records back in 2007 when she went paragliding at 100 years old. However, someone actually broke her record. Most people would have simply tipped their cap and conceded the record, but not Peggy. But by her 104th birthday, she was confined to a wheelchair, but apparently she wasn't going to let just anyone break her record. This determined lady managed to once again go paragliding at the age of 104, a world record that still held up. Like Peggy, her record has stood the test of time. The whole thing was even captured on video, and naturally it's been uploaded onto YouTube. Peggy passed away in 2013 at the age of 106. Those who knew her best described her as having lived a very colorful and full life. At the time of her death, she was also the oldest member of the Royal British Legion. Number 6. Ruth Flowers It's never too late to give up on dreams. Perhaps no one knows that better than Ruth Flowers, who at 79 years old played her first DJ set back in 2009. Performing in front of a crowd of 3,000 people at Anaheim's Electro Festival, Mammy Rocks, as she's become known, basically rocked out. Her young fans showed plenty of respect for their elders she rocked out. They threw roses for her and cheered on loudly when she was laying down some beats. And Flowers began her unique journey in 2005 when she went to a nightclub for her grandson's birthday. Going to a club is the last place I'd bring my grandmother, but it seemed to have worked out in this case. Flowers was apparently amazed and delighted to see so many people having a fun time. She decided that she wanted to help arrange events where kids could get together and have a great time, and hey, being a DJ definitely helps to get things going. In just a few short years, she began to book gigs all over the world, including in Europe and the US. In fact, she made her entrance into the world of DJing when she performed at the Cannes Film Festival. From there, she became the oldest and definitely the hippest DJ for her age in the world. Her trip to California included some time in a recording studio where she recorded her single 69, which was an homage to old age and not anything else. Maybe. She also went on to release other singles such as Still Rocking and Kissy Kissy. Sadly, she passed away in 2014 at the age of 83. Number five. Yvonne Dowlin. If you've never been ice skating before, let me tell you, it can be a workout. Imagine being in your 90s and trying to do it. Well, Yvonne Dowlin is in her 90s and can ice skate like nobody's business. However, she's had her challenges. For example, 
One day, an 80-year-old Yvonne was just driving along, and bam! A van slammed into her and sent her to the hospital. It was discovered that she was bleeding from her brain, and doctors told her that she probably wouldn't be able to ice skate anymore. For Yvonne, ice skating had been her passion ever since she was a young girl. With a knack for ice skating at an early age, Yvonne began competing professionally in the 40s and 50s and would go on to teach ice skating for about 50 years. On the day of her awful accident, she was as vibrant as ever and still regularly skating. And she sure wasn't about to let a little blood bleeding from her brain slow her down. After a 10-day stay in the hospital and some rehab, she was back on the ice. Even a stroke when she was 88 didn't keep her off the ice permanently. By 90, she had laced her skates back up and was once again doing what she truly loved. This vibrant lady was still competing in events all across the country. Her story was so impressive, she was the subject of a documentary called Edges. Unfortunately, two days before the film's release, Yvonne passed away from an aortic aneurysm. She died suddenly and without any pain, and the film seemed to be a very fitting tribute to her life. Number 4. Greta Pontarelli Osteoporosis is a condition that affects bone density in older people. It was this condition that led Greta Pontarelli to pursue pole dancing at age 59. When Greta was diagnosed with osteoporosis, doctors told her she needed to find a way to strengthen her bones. The way most people would go about this would be to find some sort of really strenuous exercise, such as weightlifting. But for Greta, that seemed way too boring. So she decided to take a less traveled route to strengthen her bones. Pole dancing is, of course, pretty unconventional for a 59-year-old woman to take up, but Greta just knew that using a vertical pole to dance would give her the exercise she needed while allowing her to have fun and put on, let's just call it an artistic show in the process. By 61, she was putting on performances and stunning crowds. Greta gets to fight back against osteoporosis while having fun and some people get to take in a pole performance that they might just be into. It takes some people years of training in gymnastics from a young age to pull off the kinds of moves Greta figured out in just two years. I'm sure there are people out there that's not going to complain. Number 3. Lloyd Kahn What's a guy who skateboards and surfs all day for fun look like? Long hair and some vans? Actually, that's not too far off. A two-year-old Lloyd Kahn certainly has the hair and the vans down. Lloyd had been surfing for most of his life, so that's why he decided to give skateboarding a try when he was 65 years old. He's even gotten pretty good at riding his longboard downhill. He says that he doesn't ride a skateboard like the kids do because he doesn't ever get any air. As the founder and editor-in-chief of Shelter Publications, Khan wrote for the once-famous Whole Earth Catalog, a publication for do-it-yourselfers and counterculture junkies during the 60s and 70s. He actually started out as an insurance salesman, but quit his job and built a geodesic dome to live in. Since then, he's gone on to become one of the most influential pioneers in green building and green architecture movements. He's written books such as Dome Book and Dome Book 2, which have sold hundreds of thousands of copies. He later advocated for the tiny house craze and all kinds of green building and architecture. He's considered one of the world's leading experts on dome homes. Let's just say conformity isn't in Lloyd's vocabulary. Apparently, he's professed that he's pretty much obsessed with being on a skateboard. I'd say there are certainly much worse things to be obsessed with, such as fidget spinners and vaping. Number two, Shirley Andrews. Shirley Andrews has a tattoo around her left nipple that says, Gang Bang Queen. That's something you just don't see every day, but, uh, yeah, well, we'll just say it's pretty interesting. Shirley is 82 years old, and by her own calculations, she slept with over 1,000 dudes throughout her lifetime. She decided to begin making porn at 73 years old when she started making videos at home. Shirley certainly doesn't adhere to any kind of social norm, especially those of her generation. She's known to date several men at once, including a dude named Kyle Jones, a 31-year-old guy who has a thing for older ladies. Both Kyle and Shirley were featured in a documentary called Nana Love, Fifty Shades of Granny. I think that title says enough. 
Anyway, because the internet has a niche for pretty much everything, Shirley has amassed a huge following online. However, when she's not hooking up with much younger men or making very niche videos, she's doing regular old retiree stuff, such as living in a retirement home and knitting with her fellow retirees. I guess I'd try to stay away from staying next door to Shirley at the retirement home, but that's just me. Number one, Doris Long. They call her Daring Doris. That's quite the nickname and she's got quite the hobby. Daring Doris Long took up industrial climbing at the age of 85 and later became the world's oldest repeller at 101 years of age back in 2015. Doris quickly fell in love with the sport as soon as she picked it up. Industrial climbing basically involves dangling from the side of a building on a rope. She began repelling in order to raise money for a hospice in her local town. When she made her trek down the side of Portsmouth's Spinnaker Tower, she was greeted by a cheering crowd, including her daughter, three grandchildren, seven great-grandchildren, and two great-great-grandchildren. After that experience, she was hooked. Dora said that she's never felt afraid and never will. She became the world record holder as the oldest repeller ever. By the way, the record she broke was her own, as she had set the record for her 100th birthday. Now, this lady is someone that really knows how to live. Here's what's next. And finding yourself 10 million pounds richer. That's exactly what happened to Peter Lavery back in May of 1998. Lavery is a former bus driver from Belfast, which is in the United Kingdom, by the way. He says he's been lucky his whole life, escaping bombs.